going on, boys? Rivets are done. From the main hull. Uh, I just got done with them. Um, I got a lot of work left. Uh, I got everything drilled out. I got a, like I said, I got a lot of work left on this. But at least I got that done. Both sides are all done. Got them all drilled out. Now my work starts. Now my work starts. A um, couple of things I wanted to talk about. Uh, the other day when I did a little update, I was wrong. Um, the reason this plate is here is because the top, the top uh, hull and the bottom hull meet behind this plate. So these top and bottom plates butt up and that's why this plate is here all the way down on either side. That's why the plate is here. Those, uh, these uh, do not go all the way down the bottom. They end right here. And the ones from the bottom come up and end right here halfway. So that I was wrong yesterday or the other day when I said that uh, they went all the way around. They do not. So um, I calculated, I kept track took me approximately nine hours and 30 minutes to drill 1,880 rivets and I'm still not done because there are rivets there are rivets that go around the hatches there are rivets to go around the, the uh, snorkel box and I have rivets that go around these dead lights um, that white piece is a plug I had to put in because where they told you to put the spool in the directions was wrong. That spool goes up here. That spool is right up, right up either even with. I gotta look on the uh, plans, but that spool was either even with this or just before it. But it's back here, not up here. So. I had to pull that all apart and start from scratch. So, but uh, yeah, that's where I am. Like I said, 1,880 rivets. Um, nine hours, 30 minutes breaks down to 570 minutes. I come out to 3.2 rivets a minute. So I was moving right along there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank God that that's over with. Um, I have blisters on my fingers. But uh, that's done. So now I can start building. Uh, lots and lots of work left, lots of work left. I got uh, pieces I have to put in up top here. There are two pieces that go in front of one here that comes all the way to the end. And I got one here that goes to, to the end here. Those have rivets in them. Um, I kind of think, it didn't say, come right out and say it, but I kind of think that was because of the shape of the hull that these plates might have been uh, pieced under this. That's what I think. That's my personal opinion. Um, there's no forensic archaeology for it right just right now. But I'm sure in the future there will be. And like Solomon said from uh, Life After Work, at some point no matter how I accurate I make this to the present plans, it's going to be wrong because of the archaeology that they're still doing on it. Um, I, I agree with him to a point. Um, I think they got most of the outside. Most of the outside is done. Um, I think the inside, they have a lot of work to do on the inside. 
but I think they got most of the outside done. So, uh, but you never know. You never know. But uh, yeah, that's where it is. And uh, oh yeah, shout out! I don't know if you guys uh, saw Solomon's last uh, video, but uh, one of his subscribers was very, very generous. I don't know if you guys know Solomon's building a uh, one three fifty scale New Jersey battleship, and uh, a subscriber of his had a friend who I think worked worked on it and uh, sent him an actual piece of the teak deck, which is uh, just, that must be so cool, man, just to hold that thing. That's like getting a piece of uh, ground from Gettysburg, uh, Pearl Harbor, or, or something, man. That's, uh, that's, you must be real excited to get that Solomon. Good for you, man. Uh, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. Um, so go check that out if you haven't seen Solomon's latest. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kill my cat here in a minute. Just got done putting a nice big hole in our brand new screen door. With the claw got stuck in it, and I went to try to help it get it out, and, and I got, now I got a nice big hole in it. Oh, what are you gonna do? I guess right. Love him. Gotta love him. Whatever, that ain't a huge hole, but there's still a hole in it. I ain't happy, but what are you gonna do? All right, so with that, now I can uh, I can start building. Uh, in actuality, this is like probably number I don't know nine or ten videos on this, but I am going to start from scratch with this one. This will be number one of the Hunley. No more CSS or CSA. It was never commissioned. Simply known as the HL Hunley. So, with that being said, I got the rivets done. That's all. That's all that matters to me, man. And now I can start uh, start doing other stuff to it. I got to figure out my. My deadlights. Um, that's looking like what I'm going to be putting around them. And then there are rivets to go around that because this, that white piece is the cover plate that went over the lens. And there were four four screws in that that held it to the uh, underneath plate. And then there was a a, a plate underneath that uh, was riveted up from the bottom. With a cover on it, and they could that cover could be closed so that uh, it would shut it shut off the white if there was any. I guess they burned a the candle on the inside and uh, didn't want to be seen at night, so they covered all the whites and they, and they couldn't be seen. They had 30 minutes of uh, they had enough oxygen in, in, inside of it that they could stay down for 30 minutes if they had to. But, uh, like I said, this was not made to run. This was not made to run deep. It was made to run just below the surface. So, I got a lot of things. I, um, that spa that I had made, I got to throw that out. That's no good anymore. Uh, so I'm going to try to make this as uh, close to what they have now as I can. So, but that's it for now. When I get more done, uh, I will make another video. You guys uh, take care. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And peace out.